As your daughters get older, they may ask to wear high-heeled shoes. Have their feet and legs developed enough to use these aesthetically pleasing but physiologically dangerous footwear? When adults use high-heeled shoes, there are often negative consequences, such as increased risk of ankle sprains, bunions, pain or numbness in the feet, forefoot stress fractures, and toe deformities. Children would be exposed to similar risks and more. The purpose of high-heeled shoes is not just to boost height, but in fact to push a woman into an artificial posture. To achieve this S-like body profile, the skeleton suffers undue stress in the lower back, the knees, and the lower legs. This is not the body's natural posture and requires muscles from different parts of your body to struggle constantly to keep the body upright without tipping forward. The typical outcome for this isn't just pain and soreness in the feet, but debilitating spine disease in the long term, such as spondylosis and femoral stenosis. Walking with high heels also changes the human gait cycle. The hips and spine are out of alignment, the knees are always locked and the calf muscles are always contracted. This is more traumatic for children as their skeletal structure is still malleable and not fully developed. The physiological stress of wearing high heels can cause malformation of their feet and spine, as well as other injuries. Secondary effects of wearing high heels too early include joint pains, shortened calf and foot muscles, lower back pain, ankle instability, bunions, clawed toes, ingrown toenails, corns, callus, and darkened rough skin. If you allow your child to wear high heels, we would advise that she keeps the heels on for only short periods of time. A child's feet aren't fully developed, and the growth plates of the bones are open until around the age of 14. Prolonged use of high heels can affect the musculoskeletal growth of your child. If high heels must be worn, we would recommend that they are fitted professionally. Choose a lower heeled, wedge, or Mary Jane type shoe. These styles are usually more comfortable and still stylish, while associated with lower risk of injury. For more information on related conditions, check out our other videos.